Good day to you and welcome to Shepherd's Chapel uh, Bible Literacy Quiz 8. Here we are with Bible Literacy Quiz 8. After we get these 50 questions in today, we'll have over 400 questions on the Bible put together. Uh, we're going to be putting together a little book with all the questions that have been on the quizzes. I uh, would like to thank those of you that have been sending in questions for the quizzes. And if you don't see your question show up and you sent one in, you might go back and look over them and make sure you send in documentation that, I mean, 99% of the people that hear the question can go to that documentation and come to the same conclusion as you did, okay? Pastor Murray's fine. He's out on documentary this week. I think he's in Arizona. Uh, putting together another documentary for you. He'll be back next week teaching uh, either some more specials or starting a new book of the Bible. Uh, if you wish to participate in today's Bible Literacy Quiz, we invite you to get a piece of paper and a pencil and number 1 through 50. That's how many questions we'll have. Uh, you can mark down either the full answer or just the letter as when we go back over the answers at the end of the program, we'll be sure and give you both the letter and the full answer. So with that, why don't we go ahead and get started on Bible Literacy Quiz 8, and if we could have question 1, please. And Bible Literacy Quiz 8, question 1 is from Stephanie in Florida. And question 1, what does the word babble mean? And the choices are A, confusion, B, separation, C, destruction, or D, division. Once again, question one for those of you that are taking the quiz on audio tape, what does the word babble mean? Choices A, confusion, B, separation, C, destruction, or D, division. And question two is from Serena in Arkansas. Serena is seven years old and I can tell by Serena's question she is a real Bible student. Question two, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that blank shall come. And the choices are A, false teachers, B, antichrist, C, false preachers, or D, Satan's people. Question two, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that blank shall come. Is it A, false teachers, B, antichrist, C, false preachers, or D, Satan's people? And from Thelma in West Virginia, question three, jealousy is cruel as blank. Is it A, pride, B, love, C, hatred, or D, the grave? Question three, jealousy is cruel as blank. Is it A, pride, B, love, C, hatred, or D, the grave? Number four comes to us from Brenda in Arkansas. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will blank. The choice is A, show thee my faith by my works. B, show thee that your works are dead. C, say, can faith save thee? D, say, a man is justified by works, not faith. Question four, yea, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works and I will blank. The choice is A, show thee my faith by my works. B, show thee that your works are dead. C, say, can faith save thee? Or D, say a man is justified by works, not faith. Number five from Louise in California. In what book of the Bible does the Lord give Israel their first king? The choices are A, 1 Kings, B, 2 Kings, C, 1 Samuel, or D, 2 Samuel. Question five, in what book of the Bible does the Lord give Israel their first king? A, 1 Kings, B, 2 Kings, C, 1 Samuel, or D, 2 Samuel. And from Vera in California comes question number six. Blank will teach you all things. The choice is A, the Comforter, B, Paul, C, Jesus, or D, the Bible. Question six, blank will teach you all things. 
A, the Comforter, B, Paul, C, Jesus, or D, the Bible? And from Bill in Iowa, number seven, Paul was taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers by blank. Is it A, the Holy Spirit, B, King Herod, C, Gamaliel, or D, Festus? Question seven, Paul was taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers by blank. Was it A, the Holy Spirit, B, King Herod, C, Gamaliel, or D, Festus? And from Melba and Dolly in Florida, by the way, Dolly, I understand, had some surgery a couple months back or a couple weeks back, and I understand she's recovering nicely. We uh, pray that she continues to recover. Question eight, how many elders fell down and worshiped him that sat on the throne? Was it A, 7,000, B, 48, C, 144,000, or D, 24? Question eight, how many elders fell down and worshiped him that sat on the throne? Is it A, 7,000, B, 48, C, 144,000, or D, 24? And question nine from Grace in California. After God said to kill all the house of Ahab, blank befriended blank and helped him into his chariot. Was it A, Jehu and Jehonadab, B, Jehu and Ahab, C, Jehu and Jeroboam, D, Jehu and Joash? Number nine, after God said to kill all the house of Ahab, blank befriended blank and helped him into his chariot. The choices, A, Jehu and Jehonadab, B, Jehu and Ahab, C, Jehu and Jeroboam, or D, Jehu and Joash. From Louise in New York, number 10. Behold, ye trust in blank words that cannot profit. The choices, A, deceitful, B, boastful, C, reasonable, or D, lying. Number 10. Behold, ye trust in blank words that cannot profit. The choices, A, deceitful, B, boastful, C, reasonable, or D, lying. And from Larry in Florida, question 11. When Eli heard the ark of God had been taken, he blank. A, cried aloud. B, fell backward from his seat, broke his neck and died. C, jumped for joy, or D, broke his hip. Number 11, when Eli heard that the ark of God had been taken, he blank. A, cried aloud. B, fell backward from his seat, broke his neck and died. C, jumped for joy, or D, broke his hip. And from Eugene in Colorado, number 12, Blank and blank died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And the choices are A, Kohath and Mirai, D, Nadab and Abihu, C, Izhar and Hebron, D, Eleazar and Ithamar. Number 12, blank and blank died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord. The choices A, Kohath and Mirari, Rai, excuse me, and B, Nadab and Abihu, C, Is Izhar and Hebron, D, Eleazar and Ithamar. And from James in Kentucky, number 13, what name did the prince of the eunuchs give to Daniel? And the choices are A, Hananiah, B, Mishael, C, Belteshazzar, or D, Abednego. Question 13, what name did the prince of the eunuchs give to Daniel? And the choices are A, Hananiah, B, Mishael, C, Belteshazzar, or D, Abednego. From Brenda in Arkansas, number 14, 
Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own blank. And the choices, A, reward according to his own labor, B, portion in the kingdom, C, crop, or D, rain in due season. Number 14, now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own blank. A, reward according to his own labor, B, portion in the kingdom, C, crop, or D, rain in due season. From Linda in Oklahoma, number 15, God said, These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all day. He was speaking of a people that, A, provoke him to anger to his face, B, eat swine's flesh, C, say, I am holier than thou, or D, all of the above. Number 15, God said, These are a smoke in my nose and a fire that burneth all day. He was speaking of a people that A, provoke him to anger to his face, B, eat swine's flesh, or C, say I am holier than thou, or D, all of the above. From Kenneth in Oklahoma, number 16, Moses cast a blank into the waters and they were made sweet. And the choices are A, rock, B, tree, C, goat, or D, thorn bush. Number 16, Moses cast a blank into the waters and they were made sweet. A, rock, B, tree, C, goat, or D, thorn bush. And from Lorenia in Florida, that's a pretty name, Number 17, what did God promise the eunuchs that kept his Sabbaths, chose the things that please him, and took hold of his covenant? The choices are A, wisdom and courage, B, love and understanding, C, a place within his walls and an everlasting name, or D, food and water. Number 17, what did God promise the eunuchs that kept his Sabbaths, chose the things that please him, and took hold of his covenants. Choices are A, wisdom and courage, B, love and understanding, C, a place within his walls and an everlasting name, and D, food and water. From Tawana in Virginia, number 18, what Greek word is utilized only twice in the Word of God and is translated in English, mansion or abode? And the choices are A, didumos, B, mone, C, thronos, or D, meno. 18. What Greek word is utilized only twice in the Word of God and is translated in English, mansion or abode? And the choices are A, didumos, B, mone, C, thronos, or D, meno. And from Norm in Wisconsin, number 19, King Saul died because he, A, tried to kill David, B, transgressed the word of God and asked counsel of one with a familiar spirit, C, didn't eat according to the health laws, or D, touched the Ark of the Covenant. Number 19, King Saul died because he A, tried to kill David, B, transgressed the word of God and asked counsel of one with a familiar spirit, C, didn't eat according to the health laws, or D, touched the Ark of the Covenant. And from Larry in Florida, number 20, for the earth shall be filled with the blank of the glory of the Lord. Choices A, knowledge, B, joy, C, faith, or D, works. Number 20, for the earth shall be filled with the blank of the glory of the Lord. The choice is A, knowledge, B, joy, C, faith, or D, works. And from Allen and Gladys in Texas, 
Blank sold a possession and kept back part of the price which cost him his life. The choices are A, Thudas, B, Barnabas, C, Nicanor, or D, Ananias. Number 21, blank sold a possession and kept back part of the price which cost him his life. The choices are A, Thudas, B, Barnabas, C, Nicanor, or D, Ananias. From Dan in Colorado, number 22, God is against the daughters which prophesy out of their own heart and that blank. The choice is A, worship idols, B, hunt souls to make them fly, C, seek the unrighteous, or D, none of the above. Number 22, God is against the daughters which prophesy out of their own heart and that blank. The choice is A, worship idols, B, hunt souls to make them fly, C, seek the unrighteous, or D, none of the above. Question 23 from Sally in Washington. The spiritual significance of the number six is blank. And the choices are A, earth, B, grace, C, weakness of man and evil, or D, judgment. Number 23, the spiritual significance of the number six is blank. The choice is A, earth, B, grace, C, weakness of man and evil, or D, judgment. And from Stephanie in Florida, number 24, the Lord set a mark upon Cain to A, protect him from being killed, B, warn others, C, identify him as a tiller of the soil, or D, disfigure him. Number 24, the Lord set a mark upon Cain to A, protect him from being killed, B, warn others, D, identify him as a tiller of the soil, or D, disfigure him. And from Thelma in West Virginia, number 25, a broken spirit blank. The choice is A, makes one weep, B, breaks the heart, C, dryeth the bones, or D, makes one weak. Number 25, a broken spirit blank. A, makes one weep, B, breaks the heart, C, dryeth the bones, or D, makes one weak. And from Brenda in Arkansas, number 26, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be A, unworthy in his presence, B, deceived, C, ashamed before him at his coming, or D, homeless. Number 26, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be a, unworthy in his presence, B, deceived, C, ashamed before him at his coming, or D, homeless. And from Lewis in California, number 27, King Solomon's temple was built on, and the choices are A, Mount Nebo, B, the Mount of Olives, C, Mount Moriah, or D, Mount Lebanon. Number 27, King Solomon's temple was built on, and the choices are A, Mount Nebo, B, Mount of Olives, C, Mount Moriah, or D, Mount Lebanon. From Vera in California, number 28, Blank commanded his descendants not to drink wine and to live only in tents. And the choices are A, Noah, B, Rechab, C, Jonadab, or D, Moses. Number 28, blank commanded his descendants not to drink wine and to live only in tents. The choices A, Noah, B, Rechab, C, Jonadab, and D, Moses.
from Melba and Dolly in Florida, number 29. God created us, and the choices are A, to suffer through the flesh, B, for his pleasure, C, for our pleasure, or D, to prove he could. Number 29, God created us, and the choices are A, to suffer through the flesh, B, for his pleasure, C, for our pleasure, or D, to prove he could. From Louise in New York, number 30, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the blank is not in us. And the choices are A, light, B, fellowship, C, truth, or D, blood. Number 30, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the blank is not in us. Choices A, light, B, fellowship, C, truth, or D, blood. Eugene in Colorado sends us question 31. Hezekiah broke the brass serpent that Moses made because blank. A, it brought serpents into camp. B, he was drunk with wine. C, the children of Israel burned incense to it. Number 31, Hezekiah broke the brass serpent that Moses made because blank. A, it brought serpents into camp. B, he was drunk with wine or C, the children of Israel burned incense to it. From Larry in Florida, number 32, how long was the ark of the Lord in the country of the Philistines? The choices are A, seven days, B, one month, C, seven months, or D, 14 months. Number 32, how long was the ark of the Lord in the country of the Philistines? The choice is A, seven days, B, one month, C, seven months, or D, 14 months. And question 33 from Tawana in Virginia. When Philip went down to Samaria, he, the choices are A, preached Christ unto them, B, cast out unclean spirits, C, healed the lame and those that with palsies, or D, all of the above. Number 33, when Philip went down to Samaria, he, and the choice is A, preached Christ unto them, B, cast out unclean spirits, C, healed the lame and those with palsies, or D, all of the above. From Norm in Wisconsin comes question 34. When Solomon was old, blank turned his heart to other gods. And the choices are A, his wives, B, men of uh, Belial, and C, his son Rehoboam, or D, Jeroboam. Number 34, when Solomon was old, blank turned his heart away to other gods. The choice is A, his wives, B, men of Belial, C, his son Rehoboam, or D, Jeroboam. Number 35 from Steve in California. The word rapture may be found in which book of the Bible? And the choices are A, Matthew, B, 1 Thessalonians, C, 2 Corinthians, or D, none of the above. Number 35. The word rapture may be found in which book of the Bible? And I made a mistake on question, the answer choice D. I said none of the above. It should have been none. So let me repeat the whole question one more time. 35, the word rapture may be found in which book of the Bible? The choices are A, Matthew, B, 1 Thessalonians, C, 2 Corinthians, or D, none. And from Robin in New York, number 36, in biblical numerics, the number 24 is associated with blank. A, naming a son, B, the priesthood, C, deliverance, or D, the enemy. Number 36, in biblical numerics, the number 24 is associated with blank. A, naming a son, B, the priesthood, 
C, deliverance, or D, the enemy? And number 37 from Allen and Gladys in Texas. Herod killed James, the brother of John, by A, hanging him, B, the sword, C, stones, or D, beheading him. Number 37, Herod killed James, the brother of John, by A, hanging him, B, the sword, C, stones, or D, beheading him. Number 38 from Daniel in Colorado. The name Emmanuel means A, God with us, B, God's Redeemer, C, God's Salvation, or D, God's Comforter. Number 38, the name Emmanuel means A, God with us, B, God's Redeemer, C, God's Salvation, or D, God's Comforter. And from Larry in Florida, number 39, where in Mesopotamia, where is Mesopotamia located? And the choices are A, between Jerusalem and Damascus, B, in America, C, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, or D, between the Red and Black Sea. Number 39, where is Mesopotamia located? And the choices are A, between Jerusalem and Damascus, B, in America, C, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, or D, between the Red and Black Sea. And number 40 from Eugene in Colorado, blank slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, which equates to seven feet six inches. And the choices are A, Abishahi, D, excuse me, B, David, C, Jashobiam or D, Benaya. And question 40, blank slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And the choices are A, Abishahi, B, David, C, Jashobiam or D, Benaya. And Louise in New York sends us question 41. The fruit of the blank is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. The choices are A, diligent, B, humble, C, righteous, or D, established. Number 41, the fruit of the blank is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Choices A, diligent, B, humble, C, righteous, D, established. Melba and Dolly in Florida, number 42. Elijah cast his mantle on blank. And the choices are A, Hazael, B, Jehu, C, Elisha, or D, Ben-Hadad. Number 42, Elijah cast his mantle on blank. Was it Hazael, Jehu, B, Jehu, C, Elisha, or D, Ben-Hadad? Brenda in Arkansas sends us question 43, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything blank, he heareth us. The choice is A, in his name, B, according to his will, C, anything we will, D, none of the above. Number 43, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything blank, he heareth us. The choices are A, in his name, B, according to his will, C, according to what we will, or D, none of the above. Thelma from West Virginia, number 44. What did the author of Ecclesiastes consider himself to be? And the choices are A, the prophet, B, a soothsayer, C, the preacher, or D, the redeemer? Question 44, what did the author of Ecclesiastes consider himself to be? 
And the choices are A, prophet, the prophet, B, a soothsayer, C, the preacher, or D, the redeemer. From Stephanie in Florida comes question 45. Whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like blank. And the choices are A, the cold of snow, B, a bad tooth, C, a sharp arrow, or D, clouds and wind without rain. Number 45, whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like blank. And the choice is A, the cold of snow, B, a bad tooth, C, a sharp arrow, or D, clouds and wind without rain. And Norm in Wisconsin sends 40, number 46. When Christ explained the parable of the sower to his disciples, he explained the tares are the blank. And the choices are A, evil thoughts of man, B, children of God, C, children of the wicked one, or D, sins of man. Number 46, when Christ explained the parable of the sower to his disciples, he explained the tares are the blank. A, evil thoughts of man, B, children of God, C, children of the wicked one, or D, sons of man. Question 47 from Alan and Gladys in Texas. How many years did Jacob stay in the house of Laban and serve him? The choices are A, 14, B, 16, C, 18, or D, 20. Number 47, how many years did Jacob stay in the house of Laban and serve him? A, 14, B, 16, C, 18, or D, 20. From Daniel in Colorado, number 48, God likened himself to what kind of a tree? Was it A, a cedar of Lebanon, B, a towering oak, C, a green fir tree, or D, a redwood? Question 48, God likened himself to what kind of a tree? Was it A, cedar of Lebanon, B, towering oak, C, green fir tree, or D, redwood? Number 49 from Larry in Florida. Worthy is blank to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Is it A, John, B, the lamb that was slain, C, Paul, or D, Peter? 49, worthy is blank to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Was it A, John? B, the lamb that was slain, C, Paul, or D, Peter. And our final question on Bible Quiz 8 from Melba and Dolly in Florida, number 50. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, blank. A, we lie. B, we deceive ourselves. C, we backslide. D, we should attend church. Number 50, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, blank. A, we lie. B, we deceive ourselves. C, we backslide. Or D, we should attend church. And that's the final question on today's quiz. Uh, we're going to take a short break and then we'll come back and go over the answers to the quiz and see how we get, did on today's quiz. I would like to caution you, if you do well on the quizzes, that's great. But if you don't do well on the quizzes, take it as kind of a wake-up call and get into God's Word. A lot, a little bit of time every day uh, to studying His Word, and I'll tell you what, it will change your life. There's no doubt about it. So we'll take a short break and be right back to go over to the answers to our quiz. The Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible is an invaluable tool to the serious Bible student. 
The Strong's Concordance lists every word used in the Bible and every passage where the word utilized may be found in the scriptures. With the assistance of a reference numbering system, the English reader may easily translate any word back to the original Hebrew, Chaldee, or Greek in which God's word was written. The Companion Bible is a unique study Bible. In addition to the text of the King James Version Bible, an extra wide margin contains a wealth of information not found in other Bibles. A system of structures or outlines employed by the Companion Bible will allow the readers to rightly divide the Bible. The use of these structures help the reader follow the subject matter and therefore they are critical to an understanding of God's Word. The 198 appendixes found in the Bible cover a wide variety of topics and information which will enlighten your studies. The Companion Bible and Strongest Concordance are a must for the serious Bible. All right, time to go over the answers to today's quiz. Uh, we're going to be going over their questions individually, and you may give yourself two points for each correct answer that you have. A total possible score on today's quiz is 100. Uh, we'll be giving an adjective rating to uh, each of the scores or ranges of scores at the end of the program so you can kind of see how you stack up. And that is another benefit of the quizzes, you know, you study with Pastor Murray on a daily basis and it's good from time to time just kind of to see how you're doing and how much you're retaining of God's Word. There's going to be a test coming and it's one you want to be sure and pass and hopefully God's Word will help you be prepared for that. I know it will be. Okay, with that let's get started on the answers to today's questions and we'll begin with question one. And number one, what does the word Babel mean? And the correct answer is A, confusion, and your documentation is Genesis 11.9. Number two, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that blank shall come. The correct answer is B, Antichrist, and the documentation is 1 John 2.18. Number three, jealousy is cruel as blank. Correct answer, D, the grave. And documentation, Song of Solomon, uh, chapter 8, verse 6. Number four, yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will blank. And the correct answer is A, show thee my faith by my works. And that documentation, James 2.18. Number five, in what book of the Bible does the Lord give Israel their first king? And the correct answer is C, 1 Samuel. And your documentation is 1 Samuel 11.15. And if you were aware that 1 Kings is often referred to as 3 Kings, as 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel are often referred to as 1 Samuel and 2, excuse me, 1 Kings and 2 Kings, that one might have come to you. But the correct answer, and of course, that was King Saul, and that was in 1 Samuel. Number six, blank will teach you all things. And the correct answer is A, the Comforter. Documentation, John chapter 14, 26. Seven, Paul was taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers by blank. And the correct answer is Gamaliel, and the documentation is Acts 22, 3. Number eight, how many elders fell down and worshiped him that sat on the throne? And the correct answer is D, 24. And your documentation is Revelations 4, 10. Number nine, after God said to kill all the house of Ahab, blank befriended blank and helped him into his chariot. And the correct answer is A, Jehu befriended Jehonadab and that's documentation is 2 Kings 10, 13 through 15. And as you know, if you've been studying along in Kings with Pastor Murray, that was the beginning of Jehu's downfall right there with old Jehonadab. Number 10, behold, you trust in blank words that cannot profit. 
And the correct answer is D, lying. And documentation, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 8. Number 11, when Eli heard the ark of God had been taken, he blank. And the correct answer is B, fell backward from his seat, broke his neck, and died. Documentation, 1 Samuel chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. Number 12, blank and blank died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And the correct answer is B, Nadab and Abihu. And documentation is Numbers chapter 3, verse 4. And 13, what name did the prince of the eunuchs give to Daniel? And the correct answer is C, Belteshazzar. And documentation is Daniel 1, 7. 14, now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own blank. And the correct answer is A, reward according to his own labor. And the documentation is 1 Corinthians 3, 8. 15, God said, these are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all day. He was speaking of a people that, and the correct answer is D, all of the above, which were provoke him to anger to his face, eat swine's flesh, and, or C, say, I am holier than thou. And your documentation, that answer, Isaiah, chapter 65, verses 3 through 5. Number 16, Moses cast a blank into the waters, and they were made sweet. The correct answer is B, a tree, and documentation Exodus 15, 24 through 25. Number 17, what did God promise the eunuchs that kept his Sabbaths, chose the things that please him, and took hold of his covenant? And the choices are, and the correct answer I should say, is a place within his walls and an everlasting name. Documentation, Isaiah 56, verses 4 and 5. 18. What Greek word is utilized only twice in the Word of God and is translated in English, mansion, or abode? And boy, I'll tell you, here's one I would have missed, folks. It's B, Monet. And you, most of you probably answered as I would have, me no, which is the prime of that, but that's why it's good to go back sometimes and uh, hit it again the second time. Uh, you find mistakes. Documentation, John 14.2 and 14.23 and Strong's uh, Greek word 34.38. 19. King Saul died because he, correct answer, B, transgressed the word of God and asked counsel of one with a familiar spirit. Documentation, 1 Chronicles 10, 13. Number 20, for the earth shall be filled with the blank of the glory of the Lord. And the correct answer, A, knowledge. And documentation, Habakkuk 2, 14. And 21, blank sold a possession and kept back part of the price which cost him his life. And the correct answer is D, Ananias. Documentation, Acts chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. 22, God is against the daughters which prophesy out of their own heart and that blank. And the correct answer is B, hunt the souls to make them fly. That's in Ezekiel chapter 13, verses 17 through 20. 23, the spiritual significance of the number six is blank. And that answer is C, weakness of man and evil. And documentation, Biblical Mathematics by Ed Velo, which is a book that we offer here through the chapel. 24, the Lord set a mark upon Cain to, correct answer, A, protect him from being killed. Documentation, Genesis chapter 4, verses 14 and 15. 
And number 25, a broken spirit blank. The correct answer, C, dryeth the bones. Documentation, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. Number 26, and now, little children, abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be, and the correct answer is C, ashamed before him at his coming. And the first epistle, John 2.28 is your documentation there. And how do you not be ashamed? Second Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Number 27, King Solomon's temple was built on, and the correct answer is C, Mount Moriah. Documentation, 2 Chronicles 3, 1. Number 28, blank commanded his descendants not to drink wine and to live only in tents. Correct answer is C, Jonadab. Documentation, Jeremiah chapter 35, verses 6 and 7. Number 29, God created us. And the completion to that sentence is B, for his pleasure. Documentation, Revelations chapter 4, verse 11. Number 30, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the blank is not in us. The correct answer is C, the truth. Documentation, first epistle of John, chapter 1, verse 8. 31, Hezekiah broke the brass serpent that Moses made because blank. And the correct answer is C, the children of Israel burned incense to it. And the uh, documentation, 2 Kings 18, verses 1 through 4. Number 32, how long was the ark of the Lord in the country of the Philistines? The correct answer was C, seven months. 1 Samuel 6, 1 is your documentation for that answer. Number 33, when Philip went down to Samaria, he, and the correct answer is D, all of the above, he preached Christ unto them, cast out unclean spirits, and healed the lame and those with palsies. Acts chapter 8, verses 5 through 7. 34, when Solomon was old, blank turned his heart to other gods. And old Solomon, number A, or letter A, his wives turned him to other gods. 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 4 is your documentation. 35, the word rapture may be found in which book of the Bible? And the correct answer is D, it does not appear in the Bible. And you can document that by going to the main concordance and the Strong's concordance and you won't find the word rapture. Number 36, in biblical numerics, the number 24 is associated with blank. And the correct answer is B, the priesthood, documentation, biblical mathematics. Oftentimes, you know, you can think of places in the Bible, where does the number 24, in fact, is that, that was one of the questions on here, the 24 elders in Revelation. So try and think of places in the Bible that that number appears and it'll help you with the answers to these questions. 37, Herod killed James, the brother of John, by, and the correct answer, B, the sword. And the Acts chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 is the documentation for that answer. 38, the name Emmanuel means, and that answer is A, God with us. Uh, that's Strong's Greek word, 1694. And of course, Emmanuel was prophesied to us in Isaiah chapter 7. Number 39, where is Mesopotamia located? Correct answer, C, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Documentation, Smith's Bible Dictionary. Forty, blank slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. 
which equates to 7 feet 6 inches? And the correct answer is D, Benaniah, and that is 1 Chronicles chapter 11, verses 22 and 23. 41, the fruit of the blank is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Correct answer C, righteous, and the documentation Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. Number 42, Elijah cast his mantle on blank. Of course, the correct answer is C, Elisha. And your documentation on that is 1 Kings 19, 19. Number 43, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything blank, he heareth us. And the correct answer is B, according to his will. 1 John 5, 14. We often receive letters at the chapel, why does not God not hear my prayers? And this might be the answer to that question if he's not hearing your prayers. 44, what did the author of Ecclesiastes, excuse me, Ecclesiastes consider himself to be? And he considered himself to be by his own words in verse one of Ecclesiastes, see the preacher. Ecclesiastes verse 1, chapter 1. 45, whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like blank. Correct answer is D, clouds and wind without rain. Proverbs 25, 14. Number 46, when Christ explained the parable of the sower to his disciples, he explained the tares are the blank. Correct answer is C, the children of the wicked one. Documentation, Matthew 13, 38. Number 47, how many years did Jacob stay in the house of Laban and serve him? Correct answer is D, 20. And of course, uh, Jacob was trying to marry uh, Laban's daughter Rachel and Leah got involved and you can read about that in Genesis chapter 31, 36 through 41 for that documentation. Number 48, God likened himself to what kind of a tree? And the correct answer is C, a green fir tree. Documentation, Hosea chapter 14 verse 8. 49, worthy is blank to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Correct answer, B, the lamb that was slain. Documentation, Revelation 5, 12. Number 50, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, blank. And the correct answer is A, we lie. Documentation, the first epistle of John 1, 6. So that was our final question on today's quiz. As we stated earlier, give yourself two points for each correct answer. And we'll bring up the adjective ratings at this time. You can kind of rate how you're doing against other students. 90 to 100 is considered excellent. 80 to 89 is considered very good. 70 to 79 is good. 60 to 69 is average. And below 60, as Pastor Murray would say, better get cracking. <clears throat> and how do you get cracking if you're biblically illiterate, which there's nothing to be ashamed about if you are biblically illiterate, that it is a shame to stay that way. Uh, we highly recommend the Strong's Concordance and a Companion Bible. Those are tools that will help you uh, get into God's Word and understand it. I think many people uh, have tried to study the Bible, but they get frustrated because they don't understand what God's Word is actually saying to us. And sometimes it's just absolutely necessary that we take the English back to the original, the Hebrew and the Greek words, which 
uh, Strong's Concordance will help you in doing that. And it's a very inexpensive tool. If you uh, need one, yeah, we have them available at the chapel, and of course they're also available at other Bible bookstores. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, Bible Literacy Quiz 8. Um, I want to thank again those of you that have sent in questions and encourage you to keep sending the questions in. Be sure that your documentation uh, is where 99% of the people can read it and come to the same conclusion as you did with the answer. I uh, have something coming up for you special next month, and that is in June uh, during the documentary week uh, while Pastor Murray is on documentary. We're going to have five days that I'm going to be sitting in for Pastor Murray, and we're going to get into the book of Leviticus, which we've had a lot of requests that uh, Pastor Murray or myself teach the book of Leviticus. So we'll be getting into that, and uh, we're going to try a little different format for that program. We're not going to have the questions and answers. We're just going to get right into it and go for one hour for five days, and we'll see how far we can cover in the book of Leviticus. And then if necessary, we can come back uh, in July, the third week, to finish up the book of Levit Leviticus. So we'll have a, a good time doing that, and I hope you'll be uh, joining us as we get into the book of Leviticus. Well, I'd like to encourage you once again to get into God's Word. If you're going through life and living paycheck to paycheck, and it just seems that there's no getting ahead, it's just that the whole world is on top of your shoulders, and there's one that can help you, and He's our Father. He loves you. He wants your love. So won't you show Him that you love Him by getting into His Word? And we invite you to join us right here at Shepherd's Chapel as we go on a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse study of His letter to you, the Bible. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed the Bible quiz today. Uh, thank those that have sent in questions all through the first quizzes. Uh, we hope to have a book put together for you soon uh, with all the Bible questions that you can use as a tool. Finally, it's very important to stay in His Word. Jesus is the living Word. God bless you and thank you for watching. Hearing God's Word with understanding will change your life. You have been viewing the Shepherd's Chapel Network Family Bible Study Hour with Pastor Arnold Murray. If you are interested in obtaining more information concerning Shepherd's Chapel, you may request our free introductory offer. Our introductory offer includes the Mark of the Beast audio tape, a newsletter with a written Bible study, a complete audio tape catalog, and a list of reference materials available through Shepherd's Chapel. You may request our free introductory offer by telephone. Call 1-800-643-4645, 24 hours a day to request the offer. You may also request by writing, Shepherd's Chapel, Post Office Box 416, Gravit, Arkansas 72736. That's Shepherd's Chapel, Post Office Box 416, Gravit, Arkansas 72736. We invite you to join us and serious Bible students around the world for our next in-depth Bible study, Monday through Friday at the same time. Thank you for watching and God bless you.